Funny when we talked about it last time, you said you you played mixed doubles because you have FOMO. <laughs> all your all your other teammates were playing. It's like I have to too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, it's kind of tough to sit at home and, and feel left out of something. Um, and to see, I mean, we've all had success in mixed doubles, and we're happy for each other to see that. But it's it's nice to be a part of of the development of a new discipline in curling. Um, it's a sport we're we're all very passionate about, and uh, we we definitely wanted to be involved. When you move from four-person curling to mixed doubles, what's the adjustment, the biggest adjustment? The uh, biggest adjustment is actually just taking on a bigger responsibility while you're on the ice. Not only that, for me, I'm actually handing over the skipping duties to Joanne. So that's uh, something that's easy to do because she's a great partner, but uh, it's a little different. Do you feel pressure going to Lethbridge? It's curling. Canada's supposed to be good at it. Um, you know, is, does that sort of, um, is that in your mind, going to Lethbridge? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely in the back of our minds, but what we, um, we both work with sports psychologists, and we, we know that when we step foot on the ice, we can't be thinking about expectations or pressure. We have to be totally invested in our process and you know making sure we're in the right frame of mind to be have the best chance of performing so you know there's definitely um, there's always the pressure of wearing the maple leaf I would say we're not favored at this world which is a different feeling um, but what we're, we're just trying to get out there and give everything we have to this and, and try to make Canada proud and, and and the more we stay in that kind of frame of mind instead of thinking about uh, what the outside looking in is like I think the better chance we have of succeeding next week